Hey guys, Real Life here and welcome back to the second part of yesterday's video. If you didn't catch the first part, I will link it in the description below. So for those of you that are new to the episode, it's about an entitled mother who tries to take somebody's service dog and when things don't go as she wanted, she and her entitled kid throw a big tantrum and even punch an employee at the store. The police come and, well, you'll see. Enjoy guys! EB looks at the owl and is captivated as the mother is repulsed, probably thinking, what a savage. Sarge is surprised at her rudeness. No ma'am, I live near Sochi. Can I ask you why you are harassing my girlfriend? EM grabs EB by the shoulders. She is claiming that mutt to be a service dog instead of giving it to my son. Since you're apparently a Russian, tell me, aren't communists supposed to share? First of all, I don't like you to refer to my comrade as mutt. Second, I am not a communist. You see me here in America, yeah? I'm a capitalist like you. Third, I don't appreciate your attitude, going around demanding service dogs from unsuspecting people. Fourth, you should really take a look at yourself. Is this the example you want to set for your boy? EM's jaw hits the floor. Stunned silence. Did you just tell me how to parent my son? Sarge pinches the bridge of his nose as I, defeated, just took my journal out and continued to draw my graphic picture. EM begins bringing up the communism thing, saying, you have two beautiful pets and you can't share either of them because you're so selfish. And all Sarge can respond with is, If you are so obsessed with communism so much, then why don't you move to Russia? I wish. That would be a good riddance right there. Sarge is trying to reason with the madwoman and at this point I just exit the conversation. I sit cross-legged in one booth, stroking comrade therapeutically with one hand, working on my image with my other, with one singular hand. I point this out for a reason. I point this out because a minute after I zoned out, apparently what happened is the little shit crawled behind Sarge's legs without him noticing under the booth and snatched my journal from my lap. What in the f- <coughs> EB scurried back from the table and ran to hide behind EM. I've already lost it and Sarge is on his way. Before Sarge can grab the notebook back from the kid, he takes one look down on it and starts wailing. It's time to reveal what I was drawing. It was a picture of a grim reaper, zombie type situation, eating the organs of dead woman. Most of the limbs severed. EM rips the book from EB and gets the same look of absolute horror, shoving the page in the direction of Sarge and I. What the hell kind of freak are you? This is nothing that should be advertised to the public. That's because it's private property, dip. <coughs> now we are officially in a screaming match which causes Comrade to squirm in place and whimper. That dog isn't even happy with you! EB, cry screaming, makes grabby hand motions to Emma, the owl perched on Sarge's arm. I want that bird! He got too close to Emma which made Sarge pull back, saying, absolutely not. That owl is not the tamest. It could have seriously scratched the shit out of that kid. EB continues to scream. No BS. EM now chucks my journal hardcover at the window right next to my head. This, my friend, is when all hell breaks loose. The window cracks, which thank god it didn't break because the glass definitely wouldn't have cut me sitting right there. And the sound of the impact freaks Emma out and she screeches, flapping her wings about and taking off around the McDonald's. Sarge is thrown into a panic. If the bird got lost or injured, it would be his ass. Oh f now, I didn't know at this time, but the staff had already called the police and now that Emma was loose, they, thinking quick, locked all the doors. This would make sure the mother from hell and her demonic hellspawn wouldn't get out nor would Emma. I'm still flipping shit at everything that's going on. And then the mother runs to the counter where her now cold food was and begins a tantrum of her own, throwing food everywhere. She squirts ketchup on the walls, throws fries at the staff and at Sarge, and all the while she is doing this, and I've been trying to calm Comrade down, who was getting worried, EB lunges at Comrade, yanking fiercely at his collar. Bad idea. I try to warn him, tell him off, but too late. Comrade has gone into attack mode. He turns around and pounces at the boy, his weight throwing EB to the ground having fallen flat on his back. Does he bite him? No. Does he claw at him? No. Comrade is trained to scare an attacker but not actually attack until I or Sarge give the command. So there they are, on the floor. My dog, with his front paws flat on the floor, butt in the air, teeth bearing, growling, snarling. 
Although the brat more than pissed me off, I felt bad for him. I was just about to tell Comrade off, and then EM comes up behind her shaking son to slap his snout. Yes, that happened. This bitch fucking hit my service dog. I was so shocked and infuriated that I couldn't get the words out. Muzzle your dog, freak! Then I feel something very, very cold being poured all over me. It's a melted fudge sundae. At this point, I was in such shock, I didn't have any thoughts. I only gasped. I barely reacted while Comrade was still in self-defense mode. When Sarge looked over, he finally lost patience. And this is where the scary Russian boyfriend part comes in. With a scowl, he marches up to EB, picks him up effortlessly, by his underarms he was not being too rough or malicious, and sticks him in a high chair made for toddlers, meaning it's much too small and EB is now stuck sitting in one place. EM is freaking out more than she ever did and begins to hit Sarge, beating his head, pretty pathetically might I add. This is no sweat to Sarge. He moves slowly, letting her hit him a couple times, and then grabs each of her wrists. He pulls a move and basically now she has her arms pinned behind her back and she is still screaming. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go you f Cossack! No, I've lost all respect for you to unhand you when you're the one acting like a f animal. Shoves her into a seat. Once she's sitting and Sarge is standing over her, she gets quiet. The only sounds to be heard are Comrade growling and E.B. whimpering. He has a stare down and she looks away, scared. I know she was scared specifically not just from the way she was sweating, but how she tried to bolt for the door past Sarge. She actually made it, but it was locked. One of the staff came out from the kitchen trying to restrain her, but he just got punched in the face. She pounded on the door, never mind her son still trapped in the high chair, because apparently she saw police outside. Sarge saw them too, so he didn't have to worry about EM anymore. Instead, now that Emma was calm enough to command, he called her over to perch on his arm and he got me napkins to clean up, apologizing as he helped me. When the cops were inside the premise, EM did not waste any time before claiming, Officers, thank goodness you're here! Points to the couple innocently cleaning up a sticky mess. Those Russians stole my service dog, assaulted me and my son, and had their hawk attack us too. Thank god you're here, they locked me in. The officers were alarmed yet slightly confused. The accusations were alarming, but the call they received was totally different than the story that Ian was telling them. McDonald's employee who got punched in the face and has a bloody nose now. Allow me to present Exhibit A. He holds up his phone to the crowd so they can see the screen. It's a video. I couldn't help but laugh. EM went pale and tried to bolt past the officers, again forgetting her son. But she didn't even make it to the doors. She was charged with attempted theft, animal cruelty, disruption of property, vandalism, assault, resisting arrest, lying to an officer, disrupting the peace, and even child endangerment. She went from a hot-headed psycho to a blubbering and apologetic single mother who needs sympathy. As they were detaining her and figuring out what to do with the child in terms of the other parent or CBS, they asked, Who's the manager? Coolly smirking and still mostly covered in ice cream, I raise my hand, and in an all-American accent reply, This <coughs> The look on EM's face. Priceless. I had to hold back more laughter as we took care of some paperwork, answered questions, and pressed charges. We took the rest of the day off and I could finally laugh until I almost threw up. Nothing in the moments before the rest was even remotely humorous. It was living hell. But I don't think it would be too much of a stretch to say the ending made up for it. We ended up getting $5,000 in charges, not including the cost to fix the window which she or insurance also paid for, and Comrade got all the belly rubs he could ever ask for, though I don't really let other strangers touch him anymore, probably because of this. Thanks Sarge, my wonderful sweet Russian boyfriend. Also, I don't know what happened to the kid or mom, but I know the mom at least got some jail time. Well damn right she got some jail time, she tried to steal somebody's dog, punched an employee in the face, and messed up the entire McDonald's store. She at least deserved that, and she didn't even care about her kid at the end when she was trying to make a run for it. And I know a bunch of you guys are gonna say that this is probably fake, but honestly this story seems so complex to me that you can't really make this up. But as always guys, I love hearing what you have to say, so please leave a comment below on what you think. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one and have a great day.